Yeah, Tracy, the city has said that there were a combination of reasons that they stopped working with this group. And one of the things we're asking today is how the city goes about partnering with a group in the first place and whether that procedure was followed. How did this happen? That's a question that we're still trying to get the answer to. In Philadelphia, a scramble for answers now after the city cut ties with Philly fighting COVID, saying it had lost trust in the organization. Does the city have a standard process for deciding who it partners with? The city should have a standard process. Does it? I always was under the impression that we did have a standard process. However, it's become clear through what has happened here that uh, the process has been. Uh, not as standard as it should be. Philadelphia Council Member Cindy Bass now calling for a hearing on the issue as early as next week. How did he jump to the front of the line uh, in front of the health commissioner uh, secure a very, um, uh, you know, just prominent spot on the city's COVID task force? How did that all happen? State Representative Malcolm Kenyatta calling for an investigation. I was deeply troubled, first of all, and then frankly, I was pissed um, to have this team uh, sort of whether this was intentionally or unintentionally mismanaging this process at a moment where people are desperately um, trying to get the vaccine was something that was um, deeply, deeply concerning. Philadelphia's city controller Rebecca Reinhart says her office is looking into how the group came to have an arrangement with the city. Does it appear that this is a matter of the city not following procedure or not having the procedures in place? I would say that that is a very good question. And to my knowledge, that um, this would be about not following city procedure. If there is some loophole uh, that is out there that needs to be discovered and closed right away. For Philadelphia, questions, but also a new challenge amid the pandemic. How is the city going to get people to trust? them to we have put to, a needle in there. We, we have to start over. We have to start from scratch because of this organization. Just in the past few minutes, I got some new information from the city. They tell me that for groups that were administering vaccines, they have to meet certain CDC criteria and that the city helps with that, but that the group would have a contract with the CDC, not with the city. Now, as far as Philly fights COVID, the head of that group posted on social media yesterday that that group had never and would never sell patient data. NBC 10 has not been able to reach the head of the group, but he did text us to say that he'll be having a news conference on Friday to discuss everything that has unfolded. Live at City Hall, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.